Alright, this is going to be a bit of janky, but uh, <clears throat> I think I found a consistent way to set up oil skip and rehydrate it. Um, I'll be using my mouse to point to things because I don't have the time or care to use a bunch of fancy graphics. So, first thing you do is you jump up to the corner here on the box, and you want to aim toward this little corner up here. And the way you accomplish that is just with a quick... Uh, just hit A with the bottom of your thumb, and at the height of your jump, roll over to X. And at the uh, after that, tap A again, and repeat the process with the second jump at the apex. So, Bob. see, I waited till the apex. I did the spin, and then I hit jump again, and then I did another spin, and that'll allow you to get up there. Uh, you'll have to try it a few times before you get consistent at it. Um, I got consistent at it because I was developing the skip over the couple hours, but it only took me maybe half hour to an hour to have it pretty much 80 to 90% of the time, and that's just the first time I ever tried it. So it's not that difficult. You just got to keep at it. Now, this is the interesting part. You can see as I'm approaching, he hits that corner, and as he hits that corner, let me go back. Let's see. Uh, I stop right here on these little uh, rafters right here and I wait for him to turn around. Once he turns around, then I start moving. And you'll see that he aggros toward me right about here. So when he's right on that shadow. And then he turns around, we jump, and we make sure we're not on that little ledge. We wanna be in this corner, as close to this little dot as we can be. Now, here's the part where you get to take a breather because you can wait as long as you need to. If he shoots a shot nine times out of 10, it'll hit this and you won't have to worry about him uh, hitting you because it usually doesn't hit you. Sometimes you get unlucky and it does, but the hitbox typically only goes about this far. So now you want to aim your camera and make sure you don't have smart camera on because it'll make this pretty inconsistent. But if you have smart camera on, I mean off, you want to line up your camera so this burger right here is being cut almost in half. Um, height up and down doesn't really matter but just make sure you're cutting that burger in half with at least this thick, uh, this skinny part, because this thick part is obviously it's inconsistent. So just make sure this lines up with the burger and you want to wait until you hear the sound. That second chung, and you won't be able to react quick enough. So start getting ready to move the moment you hear the first sound. So there's a, there's the sound. Chung, chung on that chung is when you want to start moving, but you want to start, you know, get ready to move the moment you hear the first sound because you won't be able to react quick enough if you wait for the second sound. So, and you want to time out the same kind of jump as we did before, and instead of aiming for that burger, we're aiming toward this little ledge. Toward so when you start jumping, you want to jump toward the burger, and that's the whole point of having your camera set is you point directly forward on the uh, control stick, and that's why we're setting the camera, is so that we don't have to worry about what angle our movement is. Um, we can just start moving forward. But once you get in the air, you want to start angling a little bit over, because you want to hit it right at the apex. It's really important that you land on top of the wheel, because this thing itself is a little object. If you bounce off of the side of it, it'll damage boost you, yes, but it'll instantly slow down your momentum. Uh, you'll essentially fly off in one direction and then your momentum will stop. But if you hit the top of it, it technically counts as standing. So it'll bounce you up, and not only will your momentum not be halted as much, but because you were standing, you'll be able to jump once again. So let's look at that one more time. Um, I won't do the jump again at the beginning. You pause right here on the second to last platform right here. You wait till he turns around to start moving. He'll be on that shadow. You end up right at this corner. Make sure you're not up here in the air. Cut the burger in half. Wait wait for the first one. And then start moving on the second one. The chunk cha. And on the cha, you start moving. And then you just do that same two floaty jumps you did to start with. And I did, I made this setup because 
if you were able to jump toward the platform, you can nail this. And also, you have a visual marker to where you need to jump, because the moment he fires, you're going to see that little thing pop up. You just want to land right on top of it. And if you jump at this exact angle, at this exact time, this should be right here. Now, if this is too far, if this is too close, or too, uh, you'll, you're probably jumping too early. If it's too far away from you, you're probably jumping too late. So you want to time your, your movement when you start moving forward exactly when you hear the chuk chunk on the second chunk. Uh, it's, the hardest part is timing when you start running. And the second hardest part is actually landing on top of it. And notice how I kind of adjusted my angle there. It wasn't a perfect straight shot jump. I did have to go a little bit right. I didn't uh, jump directly forward, I had to go a little right to hit that exact spot. See, I'm kind of off center here. And you should be able to get that second jump. Now as far as I know, that's not like the same frame perfect jump that you get in the original. That's just due to the fact that you're standing technically on the projectile, at least as far as I've been led to believe and from what I've seen. Uh, that could be wrong, but I do know it functionally works that way, and when I hit off the side of it, I'm not able to double jump, and when I land off the top of it, I've never not been able to. So I doubt it's a timing thing, I think it's just the fact that you were on top of it. Um, once you land, though, be careful, because they aim where you're going to be when you're walking. So maybe don't walk at full speed, because they... Oh yeah, so this is another important thing. The reason this works is because no matter how fast you're moving, they will aim a specific distance away from you in the direction you were walking. So if it's here, they're going to aim here. If you're moving this direction at all. They don't care what speed you're moving. They depend on max speed that is like possible. You know your normal top speed while running. So yeah. Um, once again, you just got to make sure that you time it correctly. You see, you see how I started walking the very second that second one started. And just focus on timing it right and focus on landing on top of it. And you should be good. This guy's going to be a pain in your butt, though. So just, uh, you know, just, you know, do a little, uh, do a little dodge there that I didn't do. I was just so busy celebrating that I made it that I didn't actually think to dodge it. Um, I've been working on the setup for a while. The setup is consistent. That bullet will be in the same spot every time as long as you time it right. I'm just bad at movement, so I wasn't able to jump on top of it very well. Um, but yeah, now that I've got that, I think this is a pretty good way of doing this trick. So try it yourself if you have any uh, a better setup with a better angle or a better timing or something easier. Let me know. Um, put it in the comments. Uh, maybe post your own video. Join the BFBB Discord, uh, and you can share stuff there. There's a huge community of people there. If you're finding this on YouTube and not from there, then yeah, absolutely uh, you know, if you find a faster skip, please let people know, because this is just, um, for the newbie who doesn't want to learn the crazy hard one that requires you not stop moving or else you miss it. This is something that anyone can learn to get started. All right, cool. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, join the BFBB discord. You can ask more questions there and I hope this helped. Bye.